Yeah, hi there. These comments are for L, and I am Michael from OnlineTofelCourse.com. And uh, I'm looking at the email here, and I also, there's two <laughs> different messages. So you sent me your TOEFL score, so 82 out of 120. You had 15 reading, 24 listening, 25 speaking, and 18 on the writing. Okay, so then you said, uh, sure, I feel that my overall English is good. I might recognize I have a lot of weaknesses in the reading comprehension. The score speaks for itself. Notice all of these comma splices you have in here. So what if you put a connector like that, right? And then you need to end. So you're having a lot of problems with sentence style, at least in this email, right? Say, in the writing, I feel good, but I couldn't finish my integrated essay. Also, I didn't articulate very well the reading with the lecture. Okay, I'd like to score 100 plus. I need, in the writing section, 24 at least. I definitely need to improve my reading skills because I'm planning to present the GMAT and this exam also has a reading part. Uh, I, <coughs> if I were you, I would put the GMAT on hold for a bit. I mean, you still, you still have kind of, I'm not basic English proficiency, but you still have a ways to go before you're going to be ready to take the GMAT test. Or you're just going to get a super low score, but maybe your math is great. You can do really well in those areas. Okay, so first of all, let me say one thing. There's three milestones on the TOEFL exam in terms of scores, right? The first one is 60 out of 120. 60, if, you, if you're a beginner, right, and you begin to learn English, it'll probably take you one to two years just to get 60. Now, to go from 60 to 82, you're probably looking at another year. And to go from 82 to 100, you're probably looking at another year. So, congratulations, you have 82. So, you're not starting from nothing, right? Okay, so let's talk about reading first. I'm going to give you some basic ideas about reading comprehension to help you with this, this, this area here. Okay, there's five things that you need to do right now in order to improve your reading. If you do these five things for the next 2.5 months, you should be able to get about seven points higher at least on the reading section. Okay, number one, you need to improve your vocabulary big time, and this is also going to help you with your writing. Right, so you need to study vocabulary. My, my advice is try to learn about 2,000 basic college level words. Now, the words for TOEFL aren't going to really help you for the GMAT. The GMAT has super complicated words, but the words that you learn initially will be very helpful for the TOEFL exam. So you're looking at about 2,000. Okay, number two, you need to begin reading about 45 minutes every day. You can read um, uh, any types of college-level text. You can read newspapers, magazines, or even books. These are good starting points. Uh, number three, you need to increase your reading speed to at least 300 words per minute or higher. And that also, believe it or not, has a really big impact on your TOEFL score. Number four, you need to become familiar with the reading question types and the strategies for answering them. And number five, you need to take TOEFL level reading practice test. Now, you should spend 80% of your reading practice doing steps one through three. That means vocabulary, extensive reading, and speed reading. So 80% of your time, you focus in those areas. 20% of your time, you focus on the reading strategies, the TOEFL reading strategies, and then the practice test. So you should be doing this maybe between 45 and 60 minutes every day for the next two months. And I guarantee you, I absolutely guarantee you, because you're not starting from nothing here. You already have an 82. This will have a really big impact on improving your reading score. Right? So keep that in mind. 
Now, the next thing I want to talk about is to go from 82 to 100, this is a major milestone. And generally, the closer you get to 100, the more difficult it is to reach that threshold. So I think my three-month TOEFL course is probably the best fit for you. It, you. It'll take you probably between three and six months to reach your goal. That is, if you focus your studies, you study diligently every day, and you're spending probably two to three hours every day for the next three to six months, uh, I think you have a great shot at reaching your goal. But to get 100 is not easy. It takes a lot, a lot of language practice to get there. So to conclude the video, I recommend my three-month TOEFL course for you. You can find this by going to onlinetoeflcourse.com. Once you get to the web page, scroll down, you'll see the three-month TOEFL course option. That's probably what you want to do right now. All right. Thank you.